Yes. Um, I was wondering um, what is going on with the discussion about changing the speed limit on County Road. Um, a petition was submitted maybe to almost two years ago, it seems like. I'm not sure of the date, but a long time ago, we submitted a petition and we haven't heard anything back. I just wanted an update on what's going on with that and when yeah. we might know more. Thank you. I think I responded. I think I responded to your email, Cindy. So I'll say you the did. same thing. You said that, that Rick was, yeah, you said that Rick was studying it. Has Rick he? Was, okay. I haven't gotten much done yet. I'm sorry, we've been very tied up with other issues in here. I'm hoping we can have something to, to say that's more yeah. along the lines of that we're making progress when Rick has a chance to look at all the traffic data. And I think that's what I said in my response to you, Cindy. We need to review all of the traffic data. Um, and Rick has experience doing that, so we're very lucky. We just need to make sure he has time to do it. Do we have any idea when that might happen? Uh, in the next couple months? I'll try to do it in the next couple months. I mean, I've taken preliminary looks at it and it looked like, like the 85th percentile. Was on it, so I'm sorry, Rick, you're not, I'm, I'm not hearing yeah, you. Yeah. Rick, talk louder. Thank you. I Thank said, you. I, I've taken kind of preliminary looks at this, at the 85th percentile data in this study, and it's pretty high. You know, as far as the technical justification, you know, with that, it's going to be a little difficult, but. I think you know that visibility issues on that road section, with, along with the fact that you've got really steep floor slopes off of that that road, and it gets very icy and shaded. There are a lot of arguments that you know really make that case along there. And can, can you so, so Rick, can you just explain to the rest of us when you're talking about the 85th percentile based on that report? What does that mean? I'm sorry, that's a, that could be so, the end of way nationally and even internationally to determine speed and safe driving Still not speed coming out road. clearly rick we can't Maybe hear you over here, rick. <laughs> the 85th percentile that's better you know, it's essentially what this is a kind of a nationally and even internationally accepted rule for establishing great safe safe driving speeds on roads and what they do is they take a hundred non-consecutive driver, or I should say non-platoon drivers. So Whatever. cars that are free flowing on at a, at a, under ideal driving conditions, non-rush hour, but it's free flowing traffic and they'll radar them. And essentially what they take, whatever that 80, they put those in order of speed, you know, fastest to slowest, and whatever that 85th driver is it from, that's actually the side, the safe driving speed of that road. The 85th from the it's called it's the 85th from the bottom. That's you have about 15 percent or a little less than more chronic speeders, and that's what's been found because it's based on people drive what they perceive to be the same. You know, that your brain is taking in all of these things it sees. It's over 100 decisions a second, and it's it's determining your reaction time. And so, you know, based on that, you drive at a speed that you're comfortable that you can react to a problem. So that's what is, that's what V-Trans uses. And they don't like to deviate by that by more than like five, you know, they don't like to deviate from that by more than say five miles per hour or so. However, you know, there are other, there are other governing conditions in there that, that warrant that. And that's, Hill is actually, to my mind, I mean, I think that that's a place that warrants it. You know, there it's shady, it's icy. I've driven, I drive that every day. I know how bad that is. You've got an intersecting road at the bottom of that slope. And there's also the complicating factor that that whole road section, we, you go from 40 miles an hour in East Montpelier, you jump back up to 50, then you jump back to 25 right there in, in down in Maple Corners. So it's not good to be bouncing speed limits like that, you end up making criminals out of innocent drivers because they're having to jump up and down in speeds and they just don't do it. You will drive what, you know, in general, you're going to drive, Cindy, you know, what the safe driving speed of a road is. You tend not to just follow speed limits. Rick, Rick I, and I have a question for you too. It's yeah. a two-part question. First is, um, in 
maybe this is um, a rhetorical question at this point. Uh, I see no real difference in terms of bends and hills and road width and road condition between most of East Montpelier stretch right. and the cattle stretch. And I gotta wonder in my mind whether they even actually did it. They just put the stuff to sign up. That's number one. Number two, would it help the argument to reduce speed if we designated uh, as a, a bikeway and therefore there would be unsafe conditions at where cars are traveling on that now we would further narrow the road because it or is a is there's a lot of it's conflicting uses, I guess, and it would endanger bicycle riders. I'm not sure I'd do that just because of a lack of shoulder. I mean, you may be setting up liabilities. I think well, we better have people are already bike riding on it. Right. I know that that. we acknowledge it. And I think the better argument is that we've got a core that is a that is a you know connector corridor through there. And so keeping consistent speed is actually a big deal. That, that is a distraction for drivers to be mm -hmm. bouncing up and down. Mm -hmm. So, and particularly there, yeah. it's bouncing up at a point where you, so if you're coming north and you're climbing a hill, then all of a sudden you go into a shaded section, you're going downhill, you've got, it gets icy. You you go off that road on the right side and you're going down in a big hole. So I know I, like I said, I drive that. So there's some risk there. So this is, you know, I, did, I think we're kind of justified in doing that. Is this up to us? Yes. Yeah. In other words, VTrans doesn't set the the chain the the where you run into issues. They they if they is if someone takes has an accident and takes it to court, you know, or if we gave them a ticket, they may be able to dispute it, say the you ticket. Know, I heard about that. Yeah. But the accident yeah. reducing speed. Reducing it, speed. It, it reduces the risk of accident. Right, but it's consistent. It's, like you said, it's the up and down. Right. I think it should, right. to my mind, it should be consistent. From I agree. Country. I agree with you. Can we? This is awesome conversation. Love it. Thank you, Cindy, for bringing it. Can we actually have it on the agenda? Yeah. And have a conversation. Well, I think we've looked at the data more recently. Yeah. We well, that's the, that's the plan. Is when Rick has time to review the data, right? Is to put it on the agenda. It's been on the bottom of the agenda for a while. Saying right. that we need to do this, so it's not like it's off our radar. It's just it's we're just starting not, to have a really substantive conversation. We just need to tonight yeah. to move on. So I hope that takes care of some of answering some of your questions and then. So stay on us, Cindy. That's I would feel, go ahead. Stay on us. Squeeze well, I would wheel. feel better if a date was set for discussing it, even if the discussion I can't, was. Cindy, Cindy, we can't do that. We have so many things that come up. All of a sudden, that need to get put on an agenda. I don't know that we can give you an exact date. Maybe it's towards the end of March. Whenever it goes on the agenda, we'll be sure to make sure you get a copy. We can say the spring. Okay. Yeah, I think we can say spring. And does spring end sort of July, June 1st? I guess oh, come on, Cindy. Going, really? Yeah, going it's going on the end of June 1st. Just, Cindy, we're trying our best here. Yeah. I know and you have a lot on your agenda, we, and I know you've done a lot of Right. So, but it feels like it's open-ended and it just keeps going on without coming to people's discussion. I know from your, no, I appreciate that. And I know from your perspective, that's what it feels like. That's not what's, that's not our intent at all. I know it's not your we intent, get, but it feels we like. Get, we want to get this done too, so we don't have to keep dealing with it. Trust me. So, okay. Rick's, so, Rick's heard you loud and clear and yeah, just don't get any sleep, Rick, and don't go to work. Right. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's okay, not really there, cool. but thank you for bringing uh, it up. I appreciate it. Thanks, Cindy. Thank you. Bye. Is there anything else for public comment that's not on the agenda? That's short and quick? All right. Um, additions or changes? Warrants are circulating. Sandra, you're up. Um, I understand that I can screen share documents, but the problem is, I can't remember now, what did Cliff say? Can we? Um, no, I would just summarize, letter summarize. Mark, okay. I'm Good sorry, morning. I'm tired of you telling me what to do. That's my job. That's <laughs> to get her just to be Just to be blunt about it. 
Um, I don't know if the board wants to look at the report. I don't know if people out there in the Netherlands can see. But Sandra, what we usually do, as Mar said, is to have you summarize um, the report. There were um, a couple of questions that I had that I talked to you about. And then we want to talk about um, this other document you sent, which is the grant, doing the grant balance. So take it away, Madam Treasurer. Hi, good evening, everyone. Happy Valentine's Day. That's an important announcement. Uh, look, you're looking really good. We're uh, in, uh, we're over the hump. We're um, going into the end of the fiscal year at this point in time. Uh, another six months to go. Revenues are coming in very nicely, both in general government and in highway expenditures in both. Um, in both areas of the government are on track. Any overages and expenditures really are due to, again, uh, expenditures that are made early in the fiscal year, as opposed to uh, being made evenly across all months during the fiscal year. Uh, balance sheet looks good. We've paid our school, um, our, property taxes that have been assessed against Callis. We wait for the true up in April. Uh, when you look at your balance sheet, you're going to see in the liability section an amount of money due to the school. That money is, um, will when the true up comes out, it will, uh, that is the place where we will pay whatever we may owe the school district at that time. And what we are allowed to do by statute is to pay the school district um, their bill minus our delinquent taxes at, at that date. And that line there in, on your balance sheet does represent the amount of delinquent taxes that we had outstanding on both payment periods. So um, we're in great shape. We have still have a great fun balance and um, I, I can entertain any questions you might like to have. Oh, wait, one last thing, delinquent taxes. They look good, they're rolling in, but just <laughs> in a surprisingly brisk fashion. Um, so that also looks very promising. And we have one delinquent tax that has been sent to the tax attorney, correct? Yes, and the tax attorney has written to that taxpayer, although I have not uh, heard from the attorney as to whether or not there has been any actual communication besides that one letter that went out, but I'm sure she's going to let us know sooner than later. Any questions? Um, I don't have any right now. Does anybody else have any questions for Sandra? No, thank you, Sandra. You're welcome. Please don't leave us. That was John. Yeah. I love you so much. You do such a great job. All right. Would you like to tell us about this grant balance review and reconciliation? Yeah. So we have, uh, you see, four, four red um, cells. And those red cells represent the difference between the expenditures in a particular grant and the reimbursement. And so best practice according to GASB practices is, or the, the GASB rules, is that the town needs to bring those balances to a zero. And the way we do that is in your, in your uh, budget lines, there is a line called transfer out. It's way down at the bottom and it doesn't have anything in it. So it's not showing up at the moment. And we're gonna transfer out from our budget enough to, to bring each of these four grants to zero. Now, the one grant, that $4,000 cell that's in the black, 
And that is going to go back into our revenue stream. And in your revenue stream or in your revenue section of your budget, there is a transfer in line. And that $4,000 will go from that grant into the transfer in line and be then a part of our revenues for FY22. And to the, the proper practices for the board to make a motion to transfer out funds from the budget to each uh, to grant 70, 71, um, and 73 to bring those balances to zero and then to transfer into our uh, budget the $4,000 from grant number 72. I, okay, so, so you want your question? I do. Yep. Um, <laughs> I should have interrupted um, <clears throat> because I don't think I've followed the whole thing. But so, so looking at the sub line 70, the greeter grant, Sandra, uh, revenues were $24.99, expenses were twenty. So in other words, we spend more money on that program than the grant gave us. Yes, and that's, that's that correct. True for, that's true for each of these. Uh, so, and so the rest of what you said was the way that you deal with that on the books that you need us to authorize. Yes. Okay. So is this, I have a question for my note. Is this, this isn't moving forward to the next grant. It is essentially this is bringing it to clean up. Clean up. It's, clean clean up. Up. Yeah. it's FY22, FY22 grant cleanup. So what's the motion that you need, Sandra? So let's deal with the three closed grants. Those are 70. There's four. There's four. Uh, no, the, there are Four closed grants. I want to deal with the three that are in the negative. So let's have a motion. Four. Wait a minute. There's four. Well, that's still still open. Open. That one is open. The hazard oh, okay. mitigation grant right. is still open. Okay, so that's the difference there. Yeah. yeah. So we wouldn't do this until the grants are closed. And uh, so we are, that, that's why we're doing this now. We wanna clean this up uh, in anticipation of the audit for FY22. So the first motion I, should be that uh, the board authorizes um, money from the budget to bring to a zero balance, the greeter grant, the East Callis CLG, 2019 grant and the East Callis CLG 2020 grant. Something oh, like that. Okay. <laughs> okay, or you can do it one at a time. Okay, so Rick can't type I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm the, the A motion was made to authorize the treasurer to transfer funds to what's the right word? Uh, to bring the grants. following grants, to bring the following grants to a zero balance. Greater okay. grant, grant number 70. Hold on. Getting, you give me the grant numbers. Okay, okay. it's grant 70. Hold on, I'll bring the funds to a zero balance. It's grant number 70, 71, and... And 71, 2020. And 71 2020. 2019 and 2020. Say 71 2019 and 71 2020. Correct. 71 2019 and 71 2020. Those are the years 2019 okay. and 2020. I got it. Yeah. Okay, and we have put numbers on that. Give me two. No, because there is no sheet. Okay, so we can, we can reference this um, sheet that Sam provided us and attach it to the minutes. 
So, for, so, so you have a little bit more ease with this sheet. The East Callis CLG grant was taken out and was applied for in 2019 and also in 2020. And it, the, it, it fell under this number 71, although it, it, the 2019 had a different end to different end numbers than the 2020 grant. They are kept separately on your, um, in your uh, funds, but they're the same basic number because it was a grant for the East Callis Community Trust. So um, that's why both of those grants appear under grant number or fund number 71. Okay, they so were did, 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 did you get the motion? No, I, I, I did. Sure did I'll, I'll second it. Okay, are you ready to vote? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 All those opposed, hearing none. Now, do we have to do something else with this? transfer out amount yes for Any? grant so we'll we'll want a motion that the select board authorizes the transfer out in this case of four thousand dollars from a fund 72 what? into the general budget revenue stream the general general uh, governance yeah. Okay. Motion to transfer. Say that. Yeah. Transfer. A motion is made to transfer out from work fund seventy two to the general fund in the amount of four thousand dollars. From I couldn't hear the fund. Seventy two. Seventy seventy two. Yeah. Then again, how much? Four thousand. Transfer um, out. It's number seven twenty two. Transfer out from fund seventy two to the general fund in the amount of four thousand dollars. Four thousand dollars. Okay, who's making motion? I will. Second. Okay, any further discussion? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Okay. Thank you so much, Sandra. Thanks, You're Sandra. welcome. Any other questions? Not at the moment. Thank I'm, you, sure there, Sandra. I'm sure there will be. All right. Have a good night, everyone. Got you Thank too. You. Thank um, you. I didn't I didn't hear from Jeremy that there was anything from the town office. Um, to talk about, but we do have a lot to talk about with regard to um, the public informational meeting that's coming up. I sent out several documents over the course of like the last week or so. Um, and I don't know, Gus, Gus, are you on? I don't see Gus. He said he would join us, but. He's not in the waiting room, is he? No. Um, okay. Is there any point in discussing it without him? No, I mean, I looked at the documents here. <clears throat> they're, they're just kind of an outline, but. There's the actual hearing. Oh, there's Cliff. Yeah. Cliff. Um, there's, okay, so there's the hearing notice that we have to do which is done. As you saw, it's hybrid and Zoom. That's been posted and published. There is the town meeting informational document, which is done and has had the same thing happen. There is then um, the outline right. that 
I took from what we did last year and I've talked to um, everybody that's down at the bottom that you see is confirmed. Um, Jamie Morby is going to man the woman the show here, um, providing we can get everything up and running the way it should again. I'll be here too. Um, no, we agreed that all the select board would be on via Zoom. I didn't. I said I was going to be here. Well, unfortunately, the Zoom thing works the best if we're all on Zoom, but you can do what you like. Um, I mean, if I come here and there's no one here, I'll leave, but I want to. Who's Oh, Jamie. Jamie. Jamie's going to do the. Jamie's going to be the, the co-host. Running the show. Cliff yeah. is going to be hosting, like we did last year. Okay. I mean, we have this one. You know, we do have this under our belt. We did it this way last year. Yep. There's not a lot of changes um, to how it all works. Um, so just kind of the order of things is a little different. Janet, when I talked to her, asked to be on a little bit earlier instead of later in the meeting um we have people coming to talk from Kellogg hubbard library cemetery fire departments they're all going to be on via zoom so that anybody on zoom can hear better what's being said um i mean that's pretty much that's pretty much it cliff do you want to do a rundown i did talk when i talked to gus one of the times i talked to gus and he was supposed to be on, but I guess he's not. Um, he indicated he'd like to maybe do, and it doesn't have to be, you know, a whole bunch of people like we did last year. Just do a quick check in, like maybe Friday evening around five o'clock or so. Just okay. Yeah. Check, check in. Is that does that work for you? Yeah, just so he can refamiliarize himself with the tools and whatnot. That's fine. Right. And Barbara has put together the slide presentation like we did last year. Remember last yep. year the, the, the slides that listed the warned items? Yep. I've got to add some slides to that presentation um, because we will, as we did last year, um, just kind of briefly explain the technology to people. Mm -hmm. um, and if anyone has any questions about the technology, giving them an opportunity to ask those. Um, the, the element that's different this time around is the fact that we're doing this hybrid model. I'm not sure how many people are going to come into the hall to attend. Um, ideally, the situation would be that um, I imagine we would have the table where Jamie's sitting with her back to the large screen that displays documents. And that way the people in the audience attending can all be facing that screen, can look at it whenever the slides are up with the various items from the warning and whatnot on them. Uh, if someone in the audience at the hall has a question, they can raise their hand. Um, then Jamie will invite them to step forward and sit at uh, an area in the table that we've worked out in advance so that they'll be in closer proximity to the owl so they can be heard and seen by the other participants on Zoom. Um, and this is where it gets problematic, John, having other members of the select board in attendance there because now we're tapping into the bandwidth that's available at the hall and it's already a bit of a challenge as is. So it would really be better if you were able to attend um, and a private Zoom session from your home or wherever you're comfortable. So, so Cliff, um, how, how other than if I were here and Jamie were here, how many other people would be on? I mean, there's less. We have one, two, three, four people online right now in the hall. Rick's not. Oh, Rick's not. So we have three. There would be more than three on town meeting. I know it would be two. It would be Jamie and myself and you, right? Well, he's in town. Oh, yeah, okay. Jamie and myself in the town hall. So there'd be but less. You don't have to have the computer turned on, right? What? No, I have no computer. So, I do it every time. So we Cliff, never have an issue. Cliff, is it is it uh, is it that even when you're when you're here, even if there's only three computers, the more people are on Zoom, 
the harder, is there more bandwidth? This is how ignorant I am, but I don't like asking the question. Does, does it tap more with, with one computer if there's more people in the Zoom room? Or does right. It so, so basically the problem occurs for people who are participating by Zoom, not there at the hall. For example, right now, the image that I'm seeing on the screen, I've got good bandwidth where I am. And the image I'm seeing on the screen is not very clear. And the audio occasionally breaks up as well. And that's really being dictated by the number of people who are logged in onto that um, modem there in the hall right now. The fewer people, people logged are in, here. the clearer the image is going to be from the owl, and the better the sound quality oh, yeah. will be. Yeah, yeah. That well, and that that is actually now you say it's consistent with my experience when I've been at home. That when you you guys are all very happy, you know, I, and we're all happy here. We're very happy, but it's it's really hard. Um, I just think it's important to select board members here. We're having a meeting. Well, that's a different. That's a different issue. That's and that's, that's a, you know. And plus, none of us can tell you what to do. What I yeah, might recommend, John, as a possible uh, alternative is perhaps you could sit with Jamie and yeah, then that. both of you would share one computer. Jamie would have the responsibility for uh, making sure that things are functioning and whatnot, but then you're there able to pipe in as you need to. You'd be seen on the owl. Uh, we would have to one of the best practices that you might remember from last year is everybody who is a participant in the meeting, meaning members of the select board, Janet, other people who are speaking at the meeting um, on the agenda to speak, they joined as participants and you could see them on the screen and their names were visible on the screen. And we asked everybody to log in and identify not just themselves by name, but also what their function was. So myself, I would sign in as Cliff Emmons, select board member. Um, we imagined that in this version, the town hall would just be listed on the screen as town hall. But we can certainly modify that and say, you know, town hall with John Brabant, select board member in attendance or something like this. Okay. I will have to send unique logins to all of the participants and I'll be doing that later this week. You'll each receive an email with your own unique login credentials. Please don't share those with anyone else because then, uh, for example, if I was a presenter and I received this email and I logged in under it, but somebody else called me and said, hey, I can't log in and I sent them my email with the login instructions, suddenly there would be two Cliff Emmons in attendance at the meeting. Oh my gosh. Yeah. And only oh, one man. of us would look like Cliff, so there's little relief there. But uh, nevertheless, um, the, the general public who is attending, they're sitting in the audience and they won't be visible on the screen. They can use the uh, electronic reactions to raise their hand to be recognized and then acting as host, I'll take them off mute and then they can ask their question. Once it's been addressed to their satisfaction, then we lower their hand and take the next question. Just kind of a refresher on how it all worked last year. Most of the questions came from the floor, uh, people voicing them out loud. And we also have the ability for people to ask questions via the chat mechanism. They'll have that ability again this year. Gus did a great job. Um, we had several people helping out to monitor the audience for hands raised and monitor the chat boxes. But Gus did a really great job monitoring all of that on his own. So we didn't really need all the extra hands on deck that we had. So we imagine it to be a little bit less complicated this year. If any of the uh, select board members select would board like members to participate like in a practice session. practice session. We are going we to are schedule, going schedule something, uh, something probably uh, midweek mid here with Jamie, with Jamie so that she has a chance to practice there at the hall. And any of you select board members would like to, would like participate. to participate, participate, you can be sure to send you the link as well. Okay, John, I got you. Now, Gus, we mentioned that you wanted to do 
some kind of a training and we were thinking like Friday at five, but are you available to attend a training that Cliff is planning? Um, do you know what day, Cliff? Uh, I think uh, when I we think last we discussed, we discussed it, we talked about we doing it on Wednesday, Wednesday or Thursday. Thursday. Uh, like Jamie, uh, I believe, Jamie said she was available either day. Either day. Uh, Thursday, Thursday might be might be better. Be better depending on what time. Oh, I, 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 I have a quick question. It might or might not be. Hold on. I rate my cell phone. It turns on the pan view and things like that. Does Jamie have that on her? You know, cell or somebody who's going to be in her town hall? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't know. We thought that we thought you know we probably would leave the panoramic view on. Because some because people seem to really like it. If you think that we should, we should not have it on, have then I can talk Jamie talk through getting the app loaded onto her phone, phone and tell her how to disable it. Okay, I'm okay, just, just asking ask this question. question. Just 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 I'll be here on the online, probably. Do you guys have a question? Yeah. I just asked and he answered it. Cliff, uh, uh, if, if it's possible it's to do possible it on Thursday, Thursday, that's, Thursday much that's much better for me than Wednesday, 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 Wednesday of day. Okay, uh, okay. is there a uh, time that works better for you guys? Better for you guys. Uh, after uh, five after is going to work better. Okay, okay. Denise, Denise, is there a time there that's a time better for you, better on, for you Thursday? on Thursday? That works. Okay. Okay. Why don't we Why shoot don't for Thursday at six o'clock then? Okay. Does that work for everyone? John, is that John? Is that John? No, no, no. It's just a practice thing because um, Jamie hasn't done this before. No, it's just not the hybrid. Not the hybrid. Not the hybrid matter. Right, right. We haven't done the hybrid, so good no, practice. That is good practice. John, 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 will the uh, first six, six work for you? Work for you? Uh, it should. Do you want to be here so you can see how that's going to work? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Because the meeting is on Saturday at ten. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if we had fewer people than last year. Honestly, not that. You mean on Zoom? Yeah. That's not even how. It's not. I'm not adding anything. Never mind. Forget I said it. It's not here. People can do what they want to do. Yeah, I, yeah I, what I'm curious well, I'm is how curious many people, people will attend, people attend at, the at the hall. At the hall. Yeah, yeah, me too. It's a test. It's a test. Um, um, FYI, 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 Lily called me, I think, just to talk about cattle. But he was asking about town meeting, what's going on, and I filled him in, and he said, well, I can't, I don't, I can't attend by computer. And I said, well, Come we in. understand that you're, you and others cannot, so we are affording a, uh, you an ability to attend in public. So, so. Was he grateful? Um, was he grateful? Yeah. 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 Well, the issue that, so the, the issue was resolved before, resolved before for certain yeah. issues. So, um, so I think that's, so I think that's important. Well, there's, well, there's several, several, I mean, there's, there's several, several people I can think of that it. don't have the computer skills or you don't even have a computer. Right. So, so I think this is this is this is more more of service to the public. Yeah. I, yeah. I agree. I agree. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah. well, and also, Joe not have uh, the end. But I like but that I like that we are I like that we are, we are generally on Zoom. On Zoom. Yeah. 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 Because that will, because that will for the majority of people that will make it. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, make it easier. Exactly. Exactly. You guys, you guys, did you have anything else? Could you just speak Could to me? Speak to me. Yeah. Do you have anything else you want to raise? Um, um, I'm just going to tell you that for those of you, I don't know where you, know where you are, Denise, but I assume, I assume. Um, um, John and Sharon John are in the, the town, town hall. But, but where you are, the sound is really tinny. Really and whenever, and two, whenever people two people are talking, people are people are talking or making noise, noise at the same time, at least at my end, the sound is so garbled that it's then really hard to hear. And anybody who's not. John's voice John's is coming voice through really strongly, really strongly. But if but Sharon was Sharon far was away from the microphone, from the microphone um, hard, um, to hear. hard to hear. So for so those of you who are managing the town, managing the hall, town hall site, site um, um, it's going to be important that two people, that people don't speak, speak at the same, at the same time, time. And whoever's speaking whoever is, speaking really, is close really close to the microphone. microphone. Right. And to that end, I mean, another thing I can look out for being here in person is 
I'll stick a chair up by the microphone and say if people want to speak here, sit in that chair and stare it in the eyes of the owl and speak. And drop your mask and not all back off. Talk to the owl. Talk to the wise old owl. Talk to the owl. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's yeah, why that's when we have this practice session, make sure, sure we have a good layout layer in the building. Layout, the building. The building. Uh, we have the ability, have the ability to, to pull, pull that screen, screen away, away from the wall, wall and tilt it wherever we need, where need to. to. And then, and John, then John, if you're going to be there with Jamie, the two of you would be sitting with um, your, backs um, your backs to that overhead, to that overhead monitor, monitor, but you'll be able but to see able what's to going see on because you'll have the computer screen in front of you. And you'll yeah. be in and close proximity to the, the owl. Then we set up, then we set uh, up just like we would like we at, would at, at uh, a regular uh, town hall meeting, as John has said, rather than having a podium with a microphone where people step up to it, identify themselves and ask their question, they'll come to the table where John and Jamie are sitting and be closer, be closer proximity to the owl, owl and be able to ask their questions. Ask their questions. It will it be, will um, be um, critical too. I'll have to work, to work with Jamie to make sure she has the correct audio, audio settings, settings because we'll want because to make we'll want sure, to make we, can sure we can do everything we can to diminish any background, background noise, noise there at the hall. At the People the hall. moving their chairs, rustling papers. This all becomes very problematic, especially with the echo effect that we know currently exists in the hall. Yeah. Well, and just people talking to their neighbor is distracting and can be heard, right? If people it, are you know, having little sidebars. Yes, yeah. very, it's distracting. very distracting. It's distracting, it's distracting in an in-person in person meeting, meeting, but meeting, magnified, magnified in, this, in, this, um, in this version. This version. Yeah, OK. Anything, anything else, guys? Just as just to get another reminder, we need to get something on the wall. Be Sorry, couldn't Sorry, hear you, John. Hear you, John. Exactly. Um, thank you. Um, we need to get drapes on this, these walls. Up. I mean, uh, ugliest a cheap drape might be, we can do that, and then the town hall crew can decide what looks better. They might supply that or something better, but this is becoming this a real becoming a real limitation for us. Echoey walls. Echoey walls. Yeah. The rugs. Well, we do have we quite a few rugs. Uh, uh, but, yeah. um, well, okay. and is there, is there any, uh, we talked about this, haven't we? Is there any plan to get more microphones, more spider microphones? Right. I mean, you guys can hear John as he has a, has a, a voice that's a voice different, that's different, different I'm leaning, I'm I'm leaning in. I know, I'm leaning in and talking to you here. Where I'm um, <laughs> um, it's, it's, but more, would but more, more, more microphone help? If there were a microphone, microphone on the table, table pass, pass around? No, no just, just one sitting, sitting, one little spider guy sitting right here on the table. Would that help, Cliff? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean it, might it might help with, help with people, being people, people being able to hear if the person, if the person speaking is closer to that example spider microphone. Uh, but it could uh, but also, it could also uh, magnify, magnify the problem, the problem of, the of the echo effect. Echo effect. Right. And so, you get feedback. We've already had feedback. Again, yeah, yeah, with the echo echo walls, you're going to get feedback. We get feedback just from my computer. Right. One thing one we thing conceivably do is do take is the, the um, shutters, shutters that are there, that are there in, the room, in the room and lean and them in front of the windows, the windows so uh, that so you don't have you as don't much have stuff bouncing, bouncing off, of the, windows, off of the windows because the windows are a big part of the sound bounce. Uh, getting uh, the, getting um, the, the uh, quilt that was donated up on the wall would certainly help as well. Uh, ultimately, I'm, I'm making some cherry pieces. 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 I'm making some cherry pieces.
I'm just going to say just again, gonna say just again this a little bit of practice, practice and maybe it'll be better on Thursday. On Thursday the only the person I can consistently hear every word that he says, that he says right, right, now right now is Cliff. Is and I'm, Cliff getting, and I'm getting, getting maybe two maybe out of three, two words, three from words from those of you those who are um, in um, group settings. Group settings. <laughs> if I'm oh, lucky. If I'm lucky. And that also that magnifies also the, 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 the fact that, fact uh, that uh, we need to have as fewest devices, fewest devices possible, possible logged, in, logged in, at in at the hall because the more, because that, are the more that are logged in, in the less the bandwidth less you have and the worse the audio quality, quality is, is for anyone, anyone who's not who's there, not in, the there in the hall. Oh, and, and or counterpoint, if, if, they're, if they're not, then the only person that you guys can see is is Denise, and and nobody else in the room is able to actually participate. As, I mean, I'm sitting on this side, and I usually sit on the other side without a computer. I feel much more engaged tonight because I'm able to see who's here and who's on Zoom, and and there's a document sitting right in front of me rather than I'm turning. Because what we talked about this last time, just on that, on, 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 on the Rick is sitting, screen, you have to turn your back, to turn your back to what is the camera. What is the camera. That's, un that's uncomfortable. It's, 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 it's uncomfortable, uncomfortable from a participation standpoint because I'm not actually looking at people and it makes my back hurt. So, <laughs> so I mean, this is not, it, 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 the sound alone is not the only issue, I guess is my point. Yeah. Well, hopefully next year we will be able to go back to fully. But even for our regular meetings, right? If, if, I mean, I I would prefer to limp along. I I would prefer to limp along either by everybody being on a Zoom, all of us doing this from home, so we are participating in an equal environment, mm -hmm. or um, limping along with having these laptops open so that we can participate more fully as members of the Slim Board. Because sitting on the other side of the table, I didn't feel I didn't feel either of those things was I wasn't doing either of those things. Okay. Well, that's good too. And some sure. of that's our, our fault too, Cliff. It's uh, not you. It's like board. We we could arrange these tables differently, and, and some of Sharon's concerns would already be alleviated. We just haven't given much thought to that. So. Well, the experience I can tell you, the experience is different on this side, just on this side of the table. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Um, anything more about the town meeting informational piece? So okay. So well, are we going to get an invitation for the um, training as well, Cliff? Yes, I'll yes, send out an invitation, invitation to everyone for the training, training, for the training and, and I will, I will be also be sending also out be sending unique, unique links, links for people to log people in to log at the actual the session. Actual session. Okay. okay. So the training so is an online training. Online training. Well, you would take. Okay. Okay. Good. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, we're going to yeah, try, try and simulate what we'll be what we'll experiencing, be experiencing on, Saturday. on Saturday. Okay. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Work? Oh. I'll ask you all to please bear with me Saturday morning. It will be uh, It'll 7 o'clock my time, so I'll just be having my first cup of coffee. So if I'm a little sleepy, I hope you please forgive, forgive, me, in forgive me in advance. Okay, we will do that. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thanks, Mike. All right. Welcome. Welcome. Nothing else on that. Um, just want to check in with Alfred real quick, and then you have the congressional stuff to talk about. Um, any. Responses from people for road crew positions. Are you all set, Gus? All set. All set. All right. Thank you so much. Okay. Okay. Um, any updates, Alfred? So I had a phone call tonight, this afternoon before I left. Uh, I was late in the day. A uh, young fellow that works for the state. Is in a restaurant and then coming and trying us out, trying us out. You mean for an interview? You mean for an interview? I interviewed him. Oh, you did. did? Like I said, he called late in the day and he was getting off of work at three. They said, okay, I'll stay a little bit late. Come and we'll talk. 
just to kind of get this started, he could ask the questions that he has. Mm -hmm. So there's, he's a really good candidate. There's one major problem. He's got a restriction on his license. So he can only drive a automatic transmission. We don't yeah. own an automatic transmission. I guess that's the problem. Some of our trucks are all, our trucks are all in that. There's only one automatic, and that's, that's the one on a little, little small truck. When you say there's a restriction and he can only drive an automatic, what, why, why is because that? Because when he went to take his license test, he drove an automatic truck. So it's a new federal law that went into effect a couple of years ago uh -huh. that you drive a automatic truck, truck for your test. test. They did not have a restriction on all your allowed to drive. Does it work the other way around too? No. Can you it can't be fixed. You have to take the test with a standard. Oh, okay. Truck. Which we've done that before for folks. So, Let them take the test. So it's not, it's not a total uh, dead in the water thing, but it's difficult to take a test in the wintertime. Mm -hmm. He's also got a class A, which would require a trailer behind, a trailer behind the truck. So, so I told him, him let's, let's talk and think about this and see if we, I'm willing to help him with that. But as we all know in the past, we've gotten burnt by him. Right. So I want some, some sort of commitment from him that is going to come and work for us to help him get his proper right. license. Well, and we have so that. So it's really, it's, it's sort of. Well, and didn't we have to do that with John too? The new no, guy? John came all licensed out ready to go. If, if, uh, if we're going to have somebody, if we're going to support and get a commitment, and given that this is the second time in what, six months we been in the situation of making concessions to bring somebody on board. Could we have Jim draw something up so we have something in writing? Mm -hmm. And could we have, have a commitment? commitment? I don't know if this would be a Jim question, so it's a two-parter. Two At least to get something in writing, but then what is our so what? You know, we get something in writing and they say, you know, I hear by promise. Um, What's the so what if they don't need it? Well, or, or could it be hard? Well, yeah, they back our costs. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. that. We back our costs for taking. I mean, when we're doing the work, we. in the conversation, and you know, just met him at 4 30, the 4 30, 4 o'clock. No, that's, that's, that's great. great. That's, that's great. great. But we can be working because it just not this guy's going to be happy. Happy to have this available. So, my question is, is one of these guys. Take the CDL test with our equipment and all that. Who pays for the test? Do they? He would. Okay. He would pay for the for the, the test and all any of that. Mm -hmm. I know as it stands right now that the town pays for renewing right. the employee's license. Right. But to initially get the license, it's on the employee. It always has been. Okay. 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 So what is so what is our what is what is it costing us for you to for us the town? For our truck. Well, it's gonna. Well, I mean, I think it depends a lot on what's going on that particular day that the appointment is. I mean, if it's a snowstorm and I got to take myself and the truck off of the roots, that's pretty expensive. I thought you just said he couldn't do it the way. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. It's, it wouldn't, it's, it's, uh, it's not impossible, but it'd be much oh, more difficult. Oh, I thought there was some kind of thing with where you no, go, no, you the take the test, they don't do it. does it throughout the whole year as far as uh, testing, but it would be a challenge to schedule it and then. Right, and then there's a snowstorm. Mother okay. Nature does her thing. So. We, so, okay, so I guess I misunderstood that you said. Okay, so. They pay for their own license. Scheduling is a problem if we have a storm. Well, but we, we still, the other thing that's lost is the opportunity to keep looking for somebody else. Well, if, if we can. No, still, we can still advertise. We still have another yeah. position available. We still have two. Okay, all right. Oh, that's, okay, all right, for now. Because the other thing we could do is 
uh, withhold another portion of the sign-on bonus? Well, I was going to say the sign-on bonus, is that something he's interested in? You know? Uh, well, I guess we didn't talk about that, but he, okay. he, he heard about the position on front porch form, which spells it out. Yeah, right. Yeah. That so, so he's yeah. aware it's out. Well, we, I mean, the sign-on bonus is already paid out in steps. So it's, that's not, okay, so that might actually, that's an incentive so that, right there. Right, so Mark's saying, uh, we sign a piece of paper and your head's in, and the sign-on bonus doesn't come. That might, that's enough. I'm sorry. I, yeah, I don't mm -hmm. think we need to create yeah, more work. Come up with a number. But we're still using point. that piece of paper that says, like, if we're supporting the license. I think that it's Oh, fine. you're right. If, if we're, if you don't get your bonus, then, yeah. okay. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they've got to pay for the license. Mm -hmm. Yeah, go ahead, Mark. I think it's great. I don't think it works out. I think that this is a lousy time. I think that it gets up to I think it's up to Alfie to decide when he can liberate the trial. I don't think Alfie can do it when it's stupid. No, I agree. I think that Alfie can do it when it's stupid. No, I agree. I think that he has to pay for the license. That works out for you. It doesn't sound like that. Well, then he can't get the work out. He's going to pay for the license. He can grab a stick. And he's not going to sign up for this. I mean, that is a that is right. Do you remember right? It's like 500, 500, 500. 500. Well, he doesn't get a sign on the bonus until he does take the job. Right. No, and, well, more, no. and more. You have to be on for a while. Well, you, so get, that, you get part. I'd have to go back and look, but it's in like four pieces. Right. So. No, and, that, it needs, and it needs to be conditional on the fully qualified, which means yeah. uh, standard shift qualified. Right. Yeah. So yeah. once. Right. And we can write up a letter of employment if this works out to say, those things. Right. Right. I mean, this is the first person I've ever run into that has that huh? restriction on his license. Yeah, I never it's, even knew that. It's it. so brand new. It's so new. Huh. And it's because, you know, a lot of, like the state, all they have is automatic trucks. Yeah. So huh. he took a state truck to get his license, so it's an automatic. Right. There's no restriction on it. Interesting. Okay. So, all right. Thank you. Thank so you. Other than that, um, I need to know what to what I can offer if it's not even if it's not this person if it's another person. Are we still at the eighteen to twenty range that we talked about before? Well, I mean, we for instance just up like um, Tyler's salary. I forget I forget what it is at an hour. We upped everybody's. We, we upped everybody's on the crew. Yeah. Um, so, I guess some of it would be dependent upon experience. You know, if he's somebody brand new, you don't want. Right. No, I, that's that's why you gave me the range, right? Twenty. Right. So I just want to know if that range now that we've raised everybody else does that range also increase? I think it does when he yeah. gets his full license. And then you figure right. out. I'm just looking at. I think the range. The range. What do we get? I mean, it could, I could get no, five calls tomorrow morning. Yeah, I, let's, let's I, just, I just say, want to know what to say. Yeah, let's say 18 to 20 starter. And then after he's been on, or she's been on for a while, then we can, you know, based on performance, all those, all those factors. Gives us what a six month performance evaluation period. So yeah. that's in place anyway. Yeah. 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 So then they can get and, a benefit. And the increases we just gave were market market adjustment. Adjustment. Yeah. Adjustment. 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 That makes sense because we did just do the crew and increase. So, well, okay. It's not worth arguing about. But yeah. if he doesn't, if he doesn't already have the skill, then I would be surprised if we're going to hire him at the height. Well, that I'm, I'm not asking for this particular. Right. He just in general. Just in general. general. Sure. Okay. Yeah, that's fair. Or where my where my number can be that I offer. 
All right. No, I got it. We did not want to create division on the crew. That was why we brought everybody else up, and that's exactly what we do if we go back. Okay, right. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. 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 Um, Mark, you want to talk about the congressional directed spending? Right. I want to start off by clarifying something. Uh, I asked at the very beginning of the discussions about the, uh, you know, the dam and whether I should recuse myself. Jim said legally I had no obligation to recuse myself, but I just did. So uh, there is a buried issue here, here which I'll clarify in a minute. But um, so I would say, let's just say right now, I recuse myself, but I'm testifying. It's your call. Yeah, okay. okay. Well, and well, you know what? Well, everybody, everybody like, like had this like conversation 10 years ago. Everybody lives on the road. On the road. Just because you yeah. advocate yeah. for your yeah. road yeah. we're done yeah. doesn't yeah. create a conflict. Yeah. 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 We have lakes and lakes. I feel comfortable at this point because all this is about is asking for money from the top side of the town. This really is just a, an informational. It's a, right. Well, I'm asking. No, we're going to be I'm asking, asking, asking for some action. action. I'll tell you what. Let's your call. Let me talk. It about doesn't it. matter. It's your call, Judge. Okay. All right. Because I'm asking, we're asking for money from outside. I'm participating as a board member tonight. Okay. One. The first letter is a letter to Tom Berry, and the reason is that. Every year, Every year time, this is the time, this is the time, is the time when, when budget stuff, budget stuff happens. happens. Of course, they, of don't, course have they don't have a budget. budget. I'll get to that. But, but late, 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 Senator Lake, Senator Lake, this is his last round. Every, and I'm, every, I'm, just oh, hearing, I'm just hearing, I'm just hearing, his people are saying, saying this, this year, this is not the year to put in requests. And so I am, I asked Tom, do you think that asking for money for the Curtis Pond Dam is something that would be reasonably eligible. Tom Berry's is one of his key staff. And, and Tom said, yes, yes, I do. I think you should put something, something in. in. The first step, is, there's two steps. These, These are, are a process, process we made of what's called a congressionally delegated spending request, CDS, better known in the past as earmarks. So, um, the first step is a letter of interest, and the second step is filling out a whole bunch of forms with a lot of detail that you put together. The forms, the complete application, are to do March 11th. Then they will make up their mind which of the 50, you know, or 60 that they get, they will pick. If they pick, Curtis Pond Dam as the CDS, they will negotiate their list with the rest of our delegation because they don't want the delegation overlapping. So they'll work that out, and if we were to get on the list, Senator Lake, given who Senator Lake is, it's very likely that we would be in the budget for that amount. We wouldn't see the amount for a year at least. Um, the fly in the ointment is that Congress can't agree on budget, and they're operating on continuing resolutions. So for example, the store, the East Cowboy store, got a congressionally directed spending from uh, Peter Welsh for $200,000 last year. It's completely hung up because there is no budget. So, it, it could get hung up. But at any rate, I feel like I highly recommend we do this because there's no harm. It's just a way of kicking off the process. So that's the first. And it's <coughs> transmitted electronically. So if people, I wrote this letter, if people want to sign, we can sign it and I can scan it and send it to them. Or I can just send it to them. Where it just says the it just says the selection. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's an internal yeah. chain about the Jerry would prefer. But I should, but I should get it all. And then, then if one with one 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 I, I will fill out the stand. It's, it's, it's a form of a whole bunch of ridiculous questions you have to try to answer. And I will bring it to you before our next meeting, 
so that at our next meeting you can review and approve my submitted it because it has to be submitted by March 11th. <coughs> so that's the yeah. first item. So I'll stop there and then I, I want to well, 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 say, say something about conflict. conflict. And, and this, I, I think, think, this, I, think, think I, I hear what I John, hear John, John is saying, saying, and saying and of course, course it's always up to, to the participant whether to. But I do think that anytime anyone is participating in something that's external, that it's a slippery slope to choose to participate in the discussion as a member of the board because the barometer is not the barometer, but the the thermometer, the whatever, the, the decider is you get to decide whether you accuse yourself or not. But what we as a board need to be sure that we're doing as as a group, including the person you know who's processing the question for themselves, is that everybody out side, all of our citizens have confidence that we as board members are making decisions that are best for the town. And so the, so the integrity of our decision, decision making, making being pure and not wearing two hats is really important. And so even though this is a you know this is a feel good it, I mean not only feel good it's a very important project for our town. I don't know that there's anybody who's really against it. If there's somebody out there who's against this, that that starts to erode. That integrity of, you know, well, where was Mike really thinking? Was he thinking most about the town or was he kind of thinking about his interest in, in his participation in the board and the leadership that you're bringing to that other group? So still your decision, but I, I don't want to let the discussion go without saying those things out loud because I think it's important that we always remember why we think about that. Can I just interject and say, given that, please consider my remarks, testimony, and I won't vote on this matter. Okay, go ahead. So great. Thank you, Mr. Testifier, for bringing this information to us. And I think it's a no-brainer. Yeah. And I don't have any problem with having you send it, you send it to, them, to them electronically. Rather than that, we all are signature on it. Do you think there are any weaknesses with the not on this. I'm all kind of out in my whole thing. Right. Whether we have to sign it. Okay. Yep. Okay. So I make a so motion that we, make the that we uh, approve this, approve this request, request to the Center Lady House Select Board Director 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 a little bit, Sharon. Can you okay, so make it more succinct? I make the motion that, that the Calis Select Board authorize the request to Senator Leahy's staff for uh, the Curtis Pond Dan request. I guess I'm not being sure. Mark the uh, Tom Brady? Uh, yeah. Does this Senator Leahy's office? Sorry, Senator Leahy's office for congressionally directed spending yes. regarding Curtis Pond Dan. And to let the lady off this board. Requesting federally directed spending for Curtis Von Dam. And, and, and congressionally directed spending. It's congressionally directed spending. Right. While, so while said, Rick is typing, I want to renew a request that when we know we're going to ask for a motion, we put the motion in writing in advance and these can slap it right on the agenda so we know what the motion is. We spend a lot of time crafting motion guys when you think about it. You got it, Rick? Okay, can I read back? Yep. Okay, motion uh, motion that the Calis Select Board make a request to Senator Lady's office requesting a congressionally directed spending to fund the Curtis Van Dam project. Yeah. Okay. That's my motion. And I seconded it. So it's Sharon's motion. And second second Yep. Yeah. Okay. And and we've asked Mark. Mark our, has volunteered to recuse himself. From I'm, recu I'm right. recused myself. But so we are asking you to send it for us. Okay. So, so no, I recuse myself. Four yes. zero one. Then. 
Right. right. Yes. Right. We have voted that. Yeah. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. The second item looks. Wait a minute. Hang on. Hey, on. It's, he's not abstaining. He's recused. It's different. Yeah. And I, uh, should I state that here? Right. Yes. He's recused. Okay. He has yeah. recused. Himself. Um, I just want to, before you start, I just want to let Alfred know if there's nothing else. Unless you're staying for something else. Well, thank you. Sorry, I'll right there. Thank you. Thank you. So I'm pretty clear, but it's five weeks and each name is cool. here with color. So thank you. Thank Great. You want cake before you go? No, thank you. No, Okay, I'm sorry, Mark. I want to keep Alfred up all night. Okay, I don't want to. The second item looks like the first one, and it does have, and I am again excusing myself and testifying, but it does have an issue here that I want to talk to you about. The USDA, the United States Department of Agriculture, has a program that is the Department of Agriculture, which is and um, they end up money for all kinds of things. Part of them is NRCS, the, the Resource Conservation Natural Service, Resources Conservation, Conservation Service. And in that is a watershed program plan protection program. When I talked to Tom Berry first, he said, I said, where is the infrastructure money in Washington that's been appropriated landing where we can get our hands on it? And he referred me to this program. So it's not the same pot of money. It's not the pot same pot of money. Ah, that's all So, right. well, hear me out. So I spent several hours with the NRCS people. And I will say they are, the bad news is their, their process takes forever. It is federal bureaucracy cubed. It is, uh, the people who are running it haven't been through this process with the new bill and they can make no guarantees whatsoever. That's the bad news. The good news is they have a lot of money. They're desperate for applicants because they don't have any, they're not spending it. And they don't have any Vermont applicants yet. Wow. Also, the good news is that their processes, they, their staff is so limited that they hire out the consultants to run their process. Their process, basically, a forever process, consists of an early, that is, maybe just a year, determination of are we eligible, it's called the feasibility analysis. Then they do a watershed plan. And in the watershed plan, we can throw the kitchen sink in, anything that's in the watershed, you know, a road, erosion, the town, the town Can we get them to drive the pond? What? Can we get them to drive the pond? I have no pond? idea. I doubt it. But at any rate, <laughs> they, they do physical. They build things. So anyway, so they use outside consultants. The outside consultants they use are a panel of five engineers, only one of which is in New Vermont. And guess what? It's Boy and King. Boy and King. Mm -hmm. And the Boy and King, Boy and King, we hire, we hire here. Right. To right. do to do the twenty twenty all the prior prior design, design, design to the three twenty thirteen plan. Right. Yep. Okay. So the way you kick off that is you send in what's called a request for assistance, and that's what this letter is. <laughs> and this letter basically says, "Yeah, we'd like to kick off the process." It is fine for now. That is, as long during the year-long effort that go through to determine whether we are eligible, we have no obligation whatsoever. I have asked them five times coming and going, is it okay if we get your wheels going? And then we decide we don't need you because it's going to be, you know, 2030 before we get your money and we're going to get other money locally or whatever. And they said, yes, absolutely, put this in because they're desperate to show that they have projects. <laughs> However, a year and a half from now or sometime like that, two years, if they think we're eligible 
And they start, they, they're told by the director that they can start spending money on us, on planning. They're probably going to want to know, hey, are you going with us or aren't you? But right now, it's just starting a long process. So we don't the reason to that I went to Tom Berry, back to Tom, and said, what about a congressionally donated spending, direct spending request? Because I told him that this one, the one I'm talking about now, is like a four or five year process. He goes, oh my God. I said, what if you guys direct them to spend because the correct congressionally directed spending mm -hmm. is directed at a federal agency. Mm -hmm. Would that accelerate it? He said, you better be accelerate it, take two years off. Good point. Well, so, oh this is standing alone. The first thing you just approved stands alone, and that's fine. This one kicks off a process, and like a year from now, or a year and a half from now, we can decide what do we want to do. The only thing that's in here, which is important for you, you have to designate a person that they can talk to. And what I did is I put my, this by the way, is there's no deadline on this, so we can talk about this and do it next week, or the next time. But I wrote it with me, just because I figured I'm the one doing all this work. Mm -hmm. But I'm not, if I recuse myself, it's not appropriate. So, you know, so you guys, yeah, you two, we have these two that are the delegated, so right. I can put your names on it, and yeah. I could tell them, hey, talk to me, and then when appropriate, I'll rope them in or whatever. But mm -hmm. I was kind of thinking I shouldn't put my name, I should put your guys' name, because you two were delegated. You can put right. all the three of ours, and then well, you can recuse no, yourself if. I, so what I can do it. is I can say, um, how about I put you two in as member of the select board and, and put myself in as, as a member of the public. 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 And, and primary point of contact. Yeah, well, that's fine. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah. I will, I will re redo this. And this one I will bring back to you because yeah. this one we want to sign. We do want to sign. Okay. Okay. So we'll need to put this on. So the, I'm going to put I'm going to put it on stationery. Put it already. Yeah. And I'm going to and I'm going to put signature lines on. Okay. Perfect. Put them on. So um. So you said this doesn't have a deadline. <laughs> so we put it on. So we put it on the next one. That's fine. I'll bring it back. I'll send it. I'll send it. I'll send it. I'll send it. I'll send it to you. Okay. Can we? Can we make a motion? Can we make a motion on the raise it so we don't have to raise it? Yes. 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 So I make a motion. So I make a motion that we that we the select board the select board submit a letter submit a letter to Mr. Mr. Tuttle from USDA Natural Resources Conservation Service. And that we sign it at the next meeting. Second. Oh, I've got to get this. Sorry, guys. Didn't slow down. Yeah, yeah. Uh, share me the motion that uh, we submit a letter of application. Do we call a it a letter that? of interest? It's, it's no, letter. it's a letter. It's a request. Just say uh, a letter of request. A letter of request. Yeah. To the NRCS. Yes. Is that correct? Watershed Protection Program. This is what happens when you hire someone based on their good looks rather than their skill set. Yeah, I was gonna say. Yeah, I I would be happy to take my turn. I have taken a lot of my day. Actually, pretty quick. Kind of losing the content. Hey, the letter of request. Okay, it'll just Should be my it'll just be my turn. Right? That's then all. we submit a letter of request to the NRCS uh, for. Assistance. Did you want to testify? For assistance. Sorry. Did you want to testify? Uh, but otherwise. No, I'm just. Give me the rest of the motion, you guys. I'm sorry. For assistance for a potential project in Calus being Curtis Pond Dam. And somewhere in there, working that we're asking for money. For assistance and funding. Right. For, for funding assistance. That's good. Planning assistance and funding. 
and I can testify as part of the Curtis Pond Association that will be here to help Mark with filling out all the application information. And good. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> You're good at that. You're good at that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll read it back to you. Okay, I'll read it back to you, okay? Let's see. Let's see. Sure, we have a motion to move forward to the NRCA for planning assistance and funding for the Curtis Park Pond Dam project. Yeah, I seconded it. All right, are you ready to vote? And Mark recused himself. Right. Yeah. But let's do that in the item. Yeah. All right. All in favor, please say aye. 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 And Mark, would you recuse yourself? I recuse myself. Thank you. Four zero one. Yeah, and just make sure you put recuse. No, Mark, recuse. Nice. Yeah. All right. It says um, four zero. There's no one. Yeah, the one is if you abstain. If somebody or they or they vote nay, then four zero. Okay, I'll take that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, John, you're up. Uh, this has to do with Good the, to see you, Mark. Oh, yeah. Um, you can sit. So, so Dunbury Man, that was look for. <laughs> um, I, I contacted the chair, requested that she no, consider uh, placing on our agenda tonight, kind of on short <laughs> notice, uh, the, the idea of our select board evaluating an application that's presently before the uh, Worcester Select Board, uh, under consideration, I should say, by the Worcester Select Town Select Board, and also the Central Vermont Regional Planning Commission Project uh, Review Committee, which is a subcommittee to the CDRPC Board. I, as a town representative on the Central Vermont Regional Planning Commission, also serve on this project review committee, uh, subcommittee to the board. Um, and that committee evaluates development projects that uh, either see Act 250 or Public Utility Commission review and permitting, and by our definition, uh, have the potential for regional impact just because of the, the nature of those scaled projects. Uh, there's a, there a cell tower, a cell tower uh, project that's being proposed on Worcester, on Worcester, on Worcester on private property, on property uh, by, a, by a company called Dust Industrial, Industrial Communication or something like that. Um, and uh, it's in the very early, early stages, as folks here might remember, there was a Wi-Fi communication, telecommunication tower that had been proposed in the north end of our town. And as these projects go under state law, they are not reviewed under zoning. Our state representative was one of the sponsors of the bill that made it all the more difficult to participate in this process. So I feel I need to put that on the record yet again because uh, it's an important thing to note. Um, so, uh, on, on the applicant, the applicant, because of the size of the tower, not to get to all the nitty gritty, uh, will be filing at some point, or anticipates filing at some point in the future, an application with the Public Utility Commission and for their review and, and permitting of the project if they pass muster. Uh, the process at the Public Utility Commission, or PUC, involves consideration of town plan and under criterion 10 of Act 250, which is part of their review, um, the regional plan for uh, conformance with both plans. So folks, constituents in town uh, sent to me emails and I forward them to the rest of select board members. Um, and, and they are, some of which are in the audience tonight on our Zoom meeting. And um, at, at this juncture, our project review committee has had a meeting to review this project. And the applicant's lead representative stated that front, not frontier, industrial is still engaged in negotiations or conversations with the Worcester Select Board. 
So the application is still in flux. The normal, I, I forget how many day time frame, I think 45 day time frame where they have to give the town notice and then after that 45 days they apply to the PUC their formal application, formal application extended. They get extended under own the applicant initiative. under own initiative was their selecting boards, their select boards extended is extended uh, uh, to reach that time, time frame. Time frame. Um, I think another 15 days or something. I can't remember. I'm not going to get that wrong, so I won't, don't quote me on that. But um, it's still in flux. So despite the agenda item saying consideration of a letter to the Central Water Regional Planning Commission and the Public Utility Commission, one, that would be premature to even draft a letter because the application has not been finalized based on what we heard last week. Uh, and two, even if the application were finalized, the Public Utility Commission has yet to receive the, uh, the application, so it would be premature. Okay. But I, I would like for us all at some point to, uh, well, for to keep this on our radar and, uh, and anticipate that we're going to need to set aside some time to evaluate the project and hear from folks. Can you let us know when we need it on the agenda again? And, yeah, and so just so you know, the Regional Planning Commission, um, with the assistance of staff at the CDRPC, we'll be looking at regional impacts. So it, it, because this project, even as stated by the developer, will have potential impact, positive, negative, and negative impacts to neighboring towns. Uh, I think they, they said, I believe they said not only Worcester, but Callis and Middlesex, and there may be at East Montpelier in there or some other town. Mm -hmm. So there's, there's regional implications. Um, and so they would be evaluating those as well as the local impacts. Wait, to, be, to be brief, it's almost done. Um, what's really important, and Tom Blatchley, the head of our Cal's Trails Committee. Yeah, he's on. It's a committee of, of the board, of this board. Um, he wrote an email of concern, as did a um, uh, well, number of people. So um, the concern, one of the primary concerns, is there's Tom out there in, yeah, there's Larry. in TV land. I am. The uh, the tower site that's been proposed is at the end of the Ellis Bruce Trail, which is an intermunicipal trail that's been set up on private properties. And when you, if any of you folks were fortunate enough to hike or bike or horseback ride or ski that beautiful trail, when you come out on the Worcester side, when you travel it, traverse it from Callis, it's a grand finale. The music comes up. The trees and the leaves and all that noise goes into the background, and there's this incredible view of the Worcester Range. It chills up your back view, and this tower is going to be right there. So you're going to have to put your blinders on. So, and from my tall, perspective, it's very. How tall is it? 100 and. 90? Tom, yeah. or uh, John Katie, John Katie, John Katie who was a PD select board member, select board member uh, from the town of Worcester. I think it's 189, John. John? It's, uh, it's uh, 198.8 feet. 98. Oh, that's right. Just under 200 foot FAA yeah. trigger yeah. for yeah. increase. Well, you remember CVRPC when they were doing the tower in North Callis? CVRPC was helpful. They did write a letter. Right. right. Saying that it didn't fit in with the. So I would think that, you know, this is something similar, only even. Color. Concerns were raised by a number of uh, project review committee members, uh, myself included. Um, Who's on that committee? A bunch of people. I'm okay. not to get to that tonight. Can I ask a question for the notes? And that is, so the Cal Select Board should be prepared to write some letter of order to well, the CBRPC. Well, to me, at this point, to evaluate and decide yes. whether to draft the letter, but that's down the road. We, I'm just asking that you put this on your radar and mm -hmm. and, and I, I'm asking that we continue to maintain kind of a spot on our, our agenda. For an update. Agenda out in the future. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Did John, did you want somebody? I think Tom, Tom Blasio might want to speak. Can I see Larry? That would be great if Tom. Or sure. Larry's on too. I think. Larry, well, Larry Bush, yeah, he sent one. Uh, Sue Killer and Tim Maker, uh, Denise Wilder, all Cal's residents raised concerns. 
Yeah. Hope I didn't leave someone else, someone out. But Tom, maybe Tom could speak, and then if there's any yeah. other questions, John Kading knows a lot too. Yeah, I, well, yeah, I'll just, just second what you said. said. I mean, it is uh, the culmination of that wonderful trail through the woods. Uh, I remember when I first walked it, and you know, you, you have no warning. You're just walking through these beautiful woods, but you you have no idea what you're coming to, and then it just opens up. Um, with this phenomenal, this phenomenal view, view. and, uh, and from, uh, from everything from I've heard and seen, and seen this cell tower cell would be right, right there, front, front and center. And center. I, mean, I mean, I can't think of anything that could, that could, uh, uh, you know, deflate, deflate that, experience that experience more than more to than see that. that. So, so um, I, on behalf of the Trails, trails committee, committee, I just want to make sure that the town is, is uh, you know, on top of this. And John, I appreciate, John, your, I appreciate your, your role in this, role too. too. So, so um, John, whatever, whatever, whatever the Trails, the trails committee, committee can do to, can do to uh, aid the town in uh, providing, uh, providing uh, uh, you know, information and uh, uh, evidence. Well, when it comes to when it comes when it comes when it comes to for conservation, trails, 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 everybody, trails. everybody to write a letter. Well, you know, I think we can all write Well, we, I mean, we can all say the same thing, but it would have a lot of signatures if it comes yes. from the various different groups. Yeah, um, or we can all sign the same letter. I, I just think... Uh, it, I, I, uh, it, for the purposes of the Public Utility Commission, I, yeah, I think three individual letters would be fine. Uh, or or we, one sign on by all the. Well, we could do one and then we have all uh, different yeah, groups would, all sign that on. would likely be fine, but that, that's down the road. Yeah, and um, you'll let us know. Um, did Larry or John Kane, do you want to speak at all? Uh, uh, I, I, simply I, say, I simply uh, say thanks, uh, thanks for your thanks consideration. For this, uh, I'm glad it's I'm on, glad your on your radar. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it is. Um, Larry. Oh, now I see Larry must be gone. Oh, there's Larry. Hey, Larry, you want to speak? Uh, uh, no, no, no. I, I, no, just, I, um, I just following, this, following carefully, this carefully, and I appreciate, I appreciate, all, appreciate all the work that, work that uh, John has uh, has done on this. So, could I ask a question? Yeah. This is not, is this subject to Act 250? Uh, this will go before the Public Utility Commission because of the height of the tower. Right. It's only yeah. 50 feet. Yeah, it doesn't go to Act 250. But, the, the, All right. but the PUC, the Public Utility Commission, is obligated by law to, to run a project past the 10 right. criteria. Um, Has anyone looked into the question or asked that anyone look into the question? of whether there are alternative locations for this cell tower. That is one of the many questions that have been asked of the applicant. Have they considered other locations, uh, different or lesser tower heights? Uh, you know, um, all that is kind of you know, in the list, the long, very long list. The only suggestion, uh, the last thing I did in my law firm in California was successfully kill a $200 million power line. Huh? And I did, did it not by arguing, which was true, how devastating it would be for views, not by arguing it, the danger of radiation, but by successfully showing that it wasn't <laughs> And the reason, and the reason was, the reason was, was because it was before the television, which, which could, could really, really could really give it the kind of value of views. What they, they care about is does the network, network work. Mm -hmm. So one of the things that I would urge is that if we do send a letter, that it can it say everything that you were talking about, and then say that this means that it's particularly urgent that the Public Utilities Commission conduct its own alternatives analysis. You can't let the applicant define alternatives. It's the PUC that has an obligation to look at alternative locations. Well, that's kind of uh, having been witness to uh, probably 50 PUC hearings at least first in person, um, they rely on the applicants in this flawed process, I will say, that the legislature is continually looking at trying to improve. Um, they rely heavily on the applicants. It's, uh, full disclosure, I work for Vermonters for a Clean Environment, and one of the entities that we 
dog is the PUC and we've been really pressing them and they have been responsive in improving the process and making it more friendly and more responsive <coughs> to public participation and uh, public input. Um, but that said, they are heavily reliant on applicants and what applicants' uh, representations are in terms of meeting the, the criteria that the, the PUC has to review. Um, and it's it's really up to opponents to rebut and you know it's it's not always the case but it's common that if there is no <coughs> public interest these things tend to sail through which I think is not good and I'm not trying to malign no, no, the no, PC, no. but it's just they get they're swamped and and so it you know that, like so many things if you have good legal representation competent legal representation and deep pockets, you see a better result often, of times, out of this and in our course. Is the is so. there here in the state? Uh, what is it called? A citizen? Um, it's it's like there's a staff entity that's supposed to represent the public interest. Uh, the yeah, that's the public service department. They have an office of public advocate or yeah, something. Yeah, public advocate. But um, I'm, not, I'm not going to comment on that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. um, yes. What, I, what, yes. what I will say, the most important review criterion or criteria are the, for our purposes, are the, there is the PUC's evaluation of okay. whether the project, you know, fits within the, the, okay. the Worcester plan mm -hmm. and the language in the Worcester plan, whether it is directive enough to decide whether or not this, for instance, this is a good location or whether this thing should, as proposed, should happen at all. The, so too with the regional plan, same kind of review, so. Okay, thank you. Okay, sounds good. Well, keep us posted. Okay. And when we need to, we can put together a letter. Okay. Sounds good. Thank Thanks you. Thank you, morning. John, Bill, you. Yeah, and Town Blatchery. I'm putting it in here to just put a dummy placeholder in yep. to the agenda. Well, we might actually be able to finish up before 10 o'clock tonight, if maybe. I don't want to jinx it. Mm -hmm. So I have a suggestion. Um, you know, there's a lot of new folks on the DRB. Um, the DRB and the DAB recently have had projects where the DAB makes a recommendation to the DRB. There's been some there's questions about and about conflicts. conflicts. Um, you, know, you know, DAB is um, advisory only. DRB issues decisions. And I just think it would be helpful. So like I said, there are several new members, which is great. And they've all taken the training, training and jumped in. But I think there are still, still I think, I think a, question a question and answer, and answer time with Jim. Time with Jim. Ask some of these ask ask some some questions. questions. Ask some questions. Yeah, what about this? Yeah, what about this? That? What about that? It might be really helpful. It might be really helpful. And you know, so and, you know, this, so is, this, this is something is, that has always always been made the ADA and I'll you know, probably get an ADA email on this. this. But as a select board, we are so concerned about conflict of interest and perception of conflict of interest, yet we have defined in the DAB membership or you know, eligibility criteria that the makeup, yeah, the makeup of that of design, design, design advisory, advisory board, which evaluates evaluate projects in our historic district, in our historic district, that a majority of the members, three of the five, if I get four. this right, four of the, not three of the five? No. Three of the four. Well, I thought it was five. You guys might be talking about something different. You're saying what's in our, are you going to say what's in our, like, it's required? It's in the zoning. It's in the zoning. It says, it says, it says, it says, 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 says that basically a majority, a majority to live, to live, to reside, to reside within the historic, historic district. Right, right. So, you know, that sets up a, a, a concentration of people with, uh, in the with a concentrated DA. interest and not a broad view of in the, the greater interest of the town. And then the DA, 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 D
board, board to, to seriously, seriously evaluate, evaluate that. We have, we have select board select member, member lives on the common pond, feels, feels personally, personally at some, some level conflicted, conflicted because, because he's got, got concerned about the future of that pond, which is a piece of whatever, Not topographic a architecture within our town. Yet we have folks on the board, a majority of the folks that have been appointed to this DAB that are, are live within the, live within the, actually, the village, the village, and, and they, they have an they, interest. They have an in same market, that same market for their village. For their village, it's not a water. It's not a water. Uh, well, the, you know, water based, water based architecture, and that's not, that's not a conflict. And if it is, it is a conflict. We are, we are forcing that conflict by definition. So I think that needs to be evaluated. Okay. I think it's a big issue. I think it's what problematic I, as well, development pressure continues and we start seeing pressure. Okay, I think what has to happen, I, I agree with you. Um, I think, I what, think has what has to happen, happen and I'll have to look at the, the design, design advisory, advisory guidelines, guidelines probably need to be updated for mm -hmm. that and specifically speak to who should serve. Um, you know, maybe it's okay if there's like one person. As long as it's not a majority. Because right now, we, right now for the DAB, we have John McCullough, who is also zoning administrator. Mm -hmm. Kurt Jansen, David Sheets, and Ryan Edwards. Kurt Jansen? Mm -hmm. So I'm only count. Yeah. So I think there's only I don't know. I don't know if there's somebody else on there or not. I can't remember. But anyways, it doesn't matter. But I think that would be a good question that we could, you know, give to Jim ahead of time for other training to think about. And then we could look at the guidelines and see if it, if it says, does it say anywhere in those guidelines who should be generalized? It does. Uh, I think it's in the zoning. I think okay. it's in our zoning regulations. Then we can take a change to the zoning regulations. Right. So. Well, we're going to be working on zoning regulations. Yeah. And, you know. I mean, this, that's down the road, but I just want right. to get that on your But, um, view screen. the DRB and, um, the DA, so it would be DRB. DAB, ZA, and any select board member that wants to attend. We, I mean, like I said, Jim did this training a couple years ago. Anybody who knew the DRB has, has to take it. it. But I think that there's probably questions out there that people have that everyone would benefit from hearing the answer. So you're raising a different issue than you're, you're saying, let's get everybody trained on what is. Right. You're yeah. saying we should consider the fact, the fact that we're actually requiring people who serve on the design design as an advisory board to live, live within, within in the district the districts that are, that are affected. Right, except, for right, except for Ryan doesn't. Right. Well, but well, that's the majority. So that's what we have to change. 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 We, should, we should be saying the minority, but that's a whole other issue from yeah, so I just what I'm talking about. Right. right. So I, I just want to, it's an interesting question and I want to think about it, but I agree with what you're saying. Yeah. Um, okay, so we'll get that rocking and rolling. So this is going to be like a. Remember we did the uh, the one before. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, what I was what I was going to suggest is that is that, is that, 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 is that the price of admission price of that you actually have, you actually have done, done the the. the movie yeah. movie training. Well, we only require DRB. Okay. To do that. Well, then we. But, but I think we, Well, I think that. Here's why, because people are going to come in not having watched it mm -hmm. and ask a bunch of questions that they're not all going to be in the same. I think that, that, um, that was not discouraged people. Well, I'm going to that. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, we we can encourage. Right. I think that we can require this new training for everyone, everyone on the DRB, DAB, ZA. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And moving forward, why can't we require the movie for everybody? We could. We could. We just never thought about it for the AV. Right. Why don't we encourage everybody to watch the movie before they come to the school? Right. We can, I think that's good, but I think we can require yep. all the other folks that. to attend. Does that yep. make sense? Yep, 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 yep. Okay. Yeah. Um, what, do I put, what do I put in the notes? In the I'll, I'll write them. Okay, I'll write them in the notes. Okay. Okay, so. Um, other updates, we have a slew of minutes that are outstanding. You've reviewed them all, I've reviewed them all. Um, would you take it on, I looked at your comments, 
Any really problem with them? Can we just approve a slate of minutes? Yes. Um, and these would be Jan. Uh, let's see. All the ones in the folder. All the ones in the folder. So, so that's uh, uh, that second. Okay. So I'm going to make a motion to approve the slate of minutes. minutes. Being being. November 22nd of 21 12 12 6 12 12 9 21 12 13 12 27 okay and then January 10th and January 24th 2022 so moved 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 
which is so so one way or another, whatever, however Jim parses the stages, right. we could still do it. We we have his okay. So I just want it noted that 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 That's according to John's interpretation, we have done nothing to compromise that being what we do. We don't have to revisit the more. Well, that was right. Right. That's yes. 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 So, John, John, could you send Rick an email with kind of what you just said? I'm just going to resend Jim's email to us. Well, that doesn't help with that. No, I would have to do that. You know what, Rick, I will write the paragraph because I was the one with the question. Okay. Because I, I, I don't think we need to get into what Jim didn't, didn't, didn't say, but because Jim, what Jim said, according to John, it's an old business. is we don't have oh, to okay. revisit the motion that all things are possible. Here, here's how we can conclude this without ever anybody having to circle back. How John interprets Jim Barlow's email on Town Highway 7 and, and, motion, me too. and Denise, and the motion that we made is all things are possible under the existing motion, we don't have to change it. And it doesn't limit our ability to consider. That's uh, the same as all things are possible. And all things are possible. <laughs> right, it doesn't, limit, it doesn't limit our ability to turn it into a trail. We haven't yet, not to do that. Okay, that's old business, yes. All right, anybody want to make a motion to adjourn? Sure. Yeah. So that if you need the exception, it's no longer. You don't have to go. Well, that's, that's a, been cool. a long time. All right. Yep. All right. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 And we'll Zoom, see Zoom of you on Thursday. Off?